Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Tuesday, December 4th, 2018. All right, so today we have the theme uh, shifting from Virgo into Libra uh, with the moon. And so the first part of the day likely still a bit on the earthy side as it has been uh, last weekend. Uh, this bit of uh, pragmatism, taking things steadily, striving towards improvement, and themes around what we can do to cultivate our self-discipline. So as the day unfolds, however, and especially tomorrow, the moon going into Libra does place a theme on matters pertaining to bringing in balance into our life. So this can be in our personal life, but also interpersonally as well. Great time for uh, mutuality, reciprocity, um, justice, things of this nature. So that's the theme uh, today. Mercury is trying Chiron exact um, as the day unfolds. It might start to wane a bit, but still a great day for doing things that we may feel healed by maybe communicating or learning about. So the communication in any way can be a very healing process today, as can be um, learning perhaps about healing as well. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Tuesday. Uh, again, this channel is for sidereal astrology. We are using the actual size of the constellations here, uh, which does change the signs from mainstream astrology. So if you are new to the channel, definitely check out that link down below for more information. All right, so the moon uh, right in between both constellations, Virgo and Libra here today. So as the day unfolds, this shift of energy. Now we have had the Virgo uh, theme since uh, last weekend. And so the first part of the day is still really good for anything that does require self-discipline that we have perhaps been cultivating or can cultivate today. This might be our work, uh, routine, health matters, things like this. And all in all with Virgo, it's always good to strive towards that improvement and see how we can do our self-improvement and then also improve the lives of others uh, through our work, for example, um, or anything else that's about improving an, an environment or um, situation or home life or a routine or something like that. So as the day unfolds, uh, we do have more of a shift into the Libra energy. And so this will be uh, themes uh, going into tomorrow around balance. And so this can be asking ourselves where we can bring balance in our personal life, but also interpersonally as well, especially with Mercury retrograde in Libra at this time. Really good time to be reconsidering and rethinking about how uh, we are relating in life and how we can uh, bring in that reciprocity, mutuality, and even justice, you know, doing the right thing and, and bringing things back into balance uh, relationship wise or socially or, you know, things of this nature. So really good to still be reconsidering that and likely noticing more of a theme with that as the day unfolds. So this part of the week, we are uh, ending this current lunar month. We are going to have a new moon on a Thursday and Friday time period. So we are in the ending phase, the balsamic phase of this cycle, which is a great time for clearing, essentially clearing the previous month's energies. So as we approach Thursday, Friday, good to do this. Uh, maybe get some of that receptive time, do some of that inner clearing. Things like meditation, spiritual activities are really supportive for this. Listening to our inner guidance and seeing what we want to clear, essentially, from either our perspective or our lives um, at this time in order to create space for what will be the new beginnings uh, around the corner here. All right, so that's a bit of the backdrop there in terms of the aspects today. Um, this Mercury is going to be trining Chiron exact. It is happening in the early part of the day, so as the day unfolds, maybe the energy decreasing a bit, but still a great day for this stuff. Uh, Mercury, the planet of our thinking and communication, is in harmonious aspect to Chiron, the comet of healing. So great synergy between these two things. Some examples might be uh, learning about healing, right? Good for this. Um, also, if there's any wounds regarding learning or things we can just learn about, uh, can feel very healing and very rejuvenated right, at this time. Um, also on the communication front, uh, maybe there's some things that can be communicated today or again, facing any wounds regarding communication that can also be very healing. So very supportive day, I would just say for healing in general, but especially if it has anything to do with practical things like what we're thinking about, 
uh, communication, and I would say also routine as well. Uh, Mercury is uh, the ruler of Virgo, which is all about doing things on the day-to-day -day for our health that can also be healing. All right, so great day for these things. That's the most important thing today. We do have some minor lunar aspects. Uh, the moon is going to be <clears throat> sextiling up to Saturn, so there could just be a bit of, uh, again, maybe self-discipline here today. Nothing major, but maybe just feeling a bit grounded in that sense, collectively speaking. Um, the moon's going to be trining up to Mars and Neptune, and so uh, there could be a good assertive energy, particularly the later part of the day. Um, good for maybe action, initiative, assertion, yet at the same time, being receptive. Um, it can be quite easy or easier to be a bit receptive as the day unfolds, just willing to go with the flow. Um, and then also this interesting combination of being direct and assertive, yet also receptive and maybe compassionate and understanding. Really good synergy there between those two uh, planets. All right, so that's going to be the uh, major aspects. I do want to mention that as we get into tomorrow, we do have the sun squaring up to um, Neptune. So there is this uh, energy. We'll probably feel mostly tomorrow, but it does make it a really good time this later part of the week here for constructive, receptive energy. This could be great for spiritual activities. All in all, just seeing how we can practice receptivity and do things that we're more conscious of in the present moment. Um, great for creativity as well and imagination, just because there is this collective kind of energy coming in a little bit later in the week where uh, collectively maybe some escapism or uh, uncertainty about things. And so it does become very constructive when we are channeling that into healthy, conscious, receptive activities, or maybe even getting some rest and practicing that kind of receptivity as well. So I'll talk more on that tomorrow, but I wanted to mention it since we may feel it in the later part of the day. All right, so, uh, so that's the day in a nutshell. Most important thing here is Mercury trining Chiron. It's nothing major, but just a nice healing energy available. Uh, great day for doing things that uh, maybe involving communication or even maybe with relationships with all this Libra energy. It can be quite healing uh, by communicating, by sharing and exchanging, or maybe just learning more about at this time. All right, we are gearing up for that new moon later in the week. So it is the clearing phase of the cycle. Good for allowing the energies to die down a bit, to get into that internal state and reflective state of ours. And the theme shifting today from the earthy side of Virgo, matters pertaining to self-discipline, shifting into bringing in balance in our personal and interpersonal lives. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the daily forecast. Take care.